welcome to another episode of Faith Film Festival. I'm your film-loving host, Lorena Jorge, and I'm here to bring you indie films that dare you to think outside the box, and that will hopefully inspire you with their positive messages. Our first film comes to us from Stanford, Connecticut, directed by Juan Carlos Espinal and Gaba Ado. Let's take a look. Oh, it was good. It's okay. What do you guys do? We just learn some new algebra problems. Um, how do you do? I did somewhat. I'm okay. <laughs> That's my girl. No idea. Is, is something wrong? What's wrong, Daddy? Sometimes, grown people do to no fault of their own. They fall apart. I'm still your father. I mean, we can still do all the fun stuff, you know, that we used to do. We're going to the movies. I was to pick you up. Then we. Me and your mother. We can't make it. Not anymore. Leaving us, right? No, 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 no. Baby, I will never leave you. You are my life. I love you. Just... I can pick you up. We go do some of the fun stuff that you like. We go to the movies. We... 
We can even go to New York like you wanted to go see a play. Lion King, whatever you want to do. Dear Daddy, just talk to me. But you're leaving us. I'm never leaving you. Never leaving you. Never. Not in my lifetime. Come on. Come on, baby. Nadia, open the door for mommy. Nadia, open the door for mommy, darling. Can we talk? David, David, everything I am is this marriage. Please, not today. Not today, David. No, not today, please. Why now? Why the sudden confession?
Nadia, are you all right? Father, Father. Nadia, calm down. See, I know God is mad no, at God. me. No, God's not mad at you. Please, I haven't been to Sunday school for three weeks now. It doesn't work that way, Nadia. Please, just tell God I'm sorry. Nadia, calm down. See, that's why my father and my mother are breaking up. Nadia, that's not true. It's not your fault. <laughs> There's something about the end that makes you remember the beginning. We took vows. For better, for worse. Till death do us part. And now you're leaving us. I know God is mad at me. Just pray for me, please. If you want, I will pray with you. But I want you to understand that God is not mad at you. What is happening between your parents is not your fault. Hey. Look at me. No tears. save this marriage, you know? You don't need me to pray for you. You can go to him yourself. I'd much rather listen to you than to me. Go to him. He is waiting. Used to be. Then we'll give it another year. It's too quiet in this room.
That was a powerful family drama, and that little girl's struggle reminds us that we are never too young or too old to find comfort in our faith. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more great films. Welcome back to Faith Film Festival. Our next film entry is coming to us from Austin, Texas. The name of the film is Hands. I like the title, short and sweet. Directed by Sharon Ortega. Let's take a look. I've never had a problem raising my hand in school. In the final seconds of the game, or, or even that time I was mugged in the alley. <sighs> but then there's this thing in church. It's like this thing that everyone around me just feels. <laughs> and all I feel is awkward. And... God, why don't I feel you the way they do? David? Are you all right? Yeah. Well, come on. We're going to miss out on the praise and worship. No kidding. Wasn't there something about you not being able to raise your hands? Yes, it's in Exodus, chapter 17, verses 10 through 13. It worked for me. I don't know how it might work for you. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. How are you doing that? How can I not? There's just so much to be grateful for. Grateful? Well, I'm not ungrateful. And how about you? Hey, what's the big deal? Just raise your hands. It's the problem. These people, they just don't let the spirit move them. Psst, Sabrina, just pretend. That's what I do. You know, Sabrina, I have to pretend for this picture. It's just like... What is that song? How is that connecting with God? Sabrina, did you just say something? No, no, I, I was just reading the flyer. Oh, Send your Holy Spirit or a burning bush or, or something. Hey, Sabrina, could you let her through? It's her first time here. Sabrina! 
Where are you going? Is something wrong? No, no, it's silly. You wouldn't understand. Sabrina, now you know you could talk to me. Pastor David, I just don't think God's moving me anymore. He has this house full of people that are worshiping him in this very physical, very first-hand way, and I just don't feel like I can raise my hand naturally. It's like there's this missing connection with God, and what's the point if I can't let God move me? Sabrina, I don't raise my hands up either, and I used to obsess about it, like it was some rank that defined my love for God. Let me see your Bibles. You know, I wanted God to move me like a wind, an earthquake, a fire. But do you know how God moves? The Lord was not in the wind. The Lord was not in the earthquake. And the Lord was not in the fire. But after the fire, there was a still, small voice. Cardboard cutouts on the floor People wish that you were more like what they wanted you to be Eventually they won't have much of you at all In their theology the walls are closing in on you You cannot be contained I liked how quirky and lighthearted that was the film didn't take itself too seriously and had a positive message, which I think is a great way to finish our episode. If you want to learn more about the films you saw in this episode, make sure to check out our website at netny.net backslash faithfilmfestival. Next week, our online competition for the Audience Award is going to begin, and we will also post more detail on our first Faith Film Festival screening event here in New York. So we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up that you won't want to miss, well, that's all for today's show. I'm Lorena Jorge. Make sure to join us on our next episode of Faith Film Festival.